Well, the renovation came about because the school has grown immensely. Um, this building opened in 1970, and we basically had the same space in 2012 that we had in 1970. But we had gone from six faculty to 22. We'd gone from less than 100 students to almost 700 students. So in 2010, we made a proposal to the provost uh, that we would take over some lesser used space on the third floor. So we've had originally about 12,000 square feet of space. The new area added 14,000. So we more than doubled the actual space that we have. One of the selling points to the provost uh, four years ago was that we had a faculty member who was doing a very exciting project with touch screen technology. And they were doing it in their garage with their students. So one of the things we built here were four identical suites were basically empty rooms for research. Two years ago, we started a museum studies program within our School of Library and Information Science. So what we wanted to do was have a more museum-like environment. We have really a lot of display cases. We have the capability of museum quality standalone displays. And as part of this area, off of the main reception area, we have a, an area for museum studies. We had previously received money to do something called the Reinberger Children's Library Center, which is a part of this facility, but it wasn't part of this construction. It's kind of unique among schools of library and information science because it is basically a classroom inside of a children's library. Another reason we needed more space in 2006, um, Dr. Carolyn Brody, who's the children's expert in our school and very much into the children's publications, she received a call from a couple, an elderly couple in Columbus who had spent their entire life reviewing children's picture books, only picture books, but they had over 20,000 of them. And they wanted to know if we wanted them. They'd actually tried to give them away to the College of, of Design in Columbus, but they weren't too excited about getting 20,000 picture books. But Dr. Brody was very excited about getting 20,000 uh, picture books. So we went back to Reinberger Fund and we, have, we ex doubled the size of the Reinberger Center, which is in what we would consider the new area. As an extension of the Reinberger Center and the Morantz Collection, we went back to Reinberger Foundation and got a third grant uh, to do the Museum Studies area, as well as to expand the Morantz Collection because we have some very valuable rare books that they have collected over the years. So we're able to preserve those in a better location and also secure them. I will tell you one thing we did not do. We did not build any new classrooms. Because we are going online, we have fewer and fewer students that actually come for a face-to-face -face class. So it's rare when you ask for space university, at least in the past, that you say, well, we need more classrooms. Well, we didn't. We needed office space. What people don't realize is when you have online courses, there's an infrastructure that you need to assist those students, to help them, even though they may not be on campus, and that it requires more graduate assistance to help with the more faculty. So it's, we didn't need classrooms, but we, we really needed the space to support the students, the space to support the researchers, and we also wanted to promote some of our new areas like museum studies and enhance the Reinberger and the Morans.